Brian, in about two minutes into the interview, just blasted away at this kid. Uh, just, uh, you had enough and you weren't going to take it anymore. Well, it wasn't unprovoked. I mean, you know, the audience will hear. All right, here's the interview, gang. And, uh, you'll, you'll notice where it goes, uh, south. And it goes, uh, pretty quickly. Here we go. It's, uh, myself, Tim Conway Jr., Brian Whitman, and, uh, Albert Hammond Jr., man. And joined by Albert Hammond Jr., nice to see you. Hello, how you doing? Yeah, look at you, dude, from the Strokes, man. Yeah. All right, who'd you bring with you? You got the whole band there? Yeah, he, Matt isn't that's Matt. And he plays he plays drums. I play drums on Albert's new record. Excellent, excellent. All right, now Jerry Wachowski, a huge fan of the uh, of the Strokes, and uh, waiting for the new album to come out. When is it coming out? It's coming out March six. Oh, March six, really? Twenty five okay. days. All right. So obviously, it's all done at this point. Yeah, I just I'm, I'm on tour right now with Ingrid, so I'd, I'd hope it'd be done. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now you I'm guys, living the dream. Uh, you up for anything this year? Or? Best rock album. Wow. Look yeah. At you, man. I know. Jesus <laughs> now forgive me, Albert Hammond Jr. hasn't even come out. Already getting nominated. It's pretty pretty crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Is your dad? It never rains in Southern California. Albert Hammond. Yes. Is that right? Oh, right. It's uh, Whitman's favorite song. There you go. Forgive me. Is your dad living? Yes. He is. All right. Wow. That was a. I didn't know if you're going to play it or not. All right, so so he has um, he's talking about his dad, and he's very he's very dismissive. Like, yeah, I don't really like to talk about dad. Right. Well, uh, you know, forgive me. I mean, I was a fan of you know, the fa uh, a fan of the song, so I asked if his father was a. Uh, you know, still living. I don't think it was an unfair. It was an no, because that song was big in the late sixties, early seventies. Right. It was the nineteen seventies that that song was yeah, out. So it's got to be probably. Um, I mean, I don't could, know. Could seventies or eighties? Well, could be dead. Yeah. Right. I mean, so it's a it's an honest, genuine question, not asked. Uh, you know, uh, with in any snide manner. But oh, obviously, here we go. Yeah. is that right? Oh, right. It's uh, Whitman's favorite song. There you go. Forgive me. There you go. Guy should be uh, very proud of that song, very happy of that song. That song sent him to private school in uh, Switzerland. You know that? Well, yeah, the name, uh, you know, memo to Albert Hammond Jr. Uh, if we're not for Pops, we wouldn't know the name. Uh, well, he also, uh, this Albert Hammond Jr., went to boarding school in Switzerland. Hmm. Guess what that costs a year? Yeah, I'm guessing it's not cheap. In U.S. dollars, what do you think it costs to go to boarding school? At La Rossi, which is the uh, one of the oldest schools on the planet, I think it's the oldest private boarding school in Switzerland. It was like twenty thousand um, dollars. Close. It starts at sixty one thousand oh, dollars. sixty two grand plus twenty thousand dollars for uh, extra uh, cost. So it's about it's about uh, almost eighty grand mm. to go to this uh, private school in Switzerland. You should be kissing your dad's ass for that song. That song puts you through uh, school, man. You know, now Jerry, was this the vibe that you anticipated? I mean, you're a fan of the Strokes. Is this what you knew we would kind of be getting from this? Dude? Well, I mean, l listen, I've I've seen the Strokes before. I've seen them live, and and they're always kind of like the, they're always kind of like chill. You know, like they're just relaxing, like when they're talking. But I was expecting to see a little more uh, liveliness out of Albert. <laughs> and you know, coincidentally enough, the guy's in town tonight. He's playing at the Troubadour. You know that? Oh, he is. Yeah, oh. they're about the uh, Troubadour. Uh, hitting it for a Valentine's Day. All right, here we go. More with uh, myself, Whitman, and Daryl Hammond Jr. Uh, Albert Hammond. Albert Hammond Jr. There you go. Forgive me, is your dad living? Yes. He is. All right. Wow. That was a great song. That, that, from the 70s, that song, right? <laughs> yes, yes, it is. Yeah, yeah. I, I seem I remember that. You know that song, It Never Rains I, in I Southern California. Song. Yeah, all yeah. right. No, It Never Rains in California. It never rains. That song? Is yeah. it California or Southern California? It never rains in Southern California. <laughs> well, right. sing a little of it for us. Uh, I, you know, I'm not going to do that. I mean, Albert Hammond. Please, Jr. please don't. No, 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 no. You've heard yeah. it. See, please don't. He's embarrassed by his old man. Uh, you know, you know, I'm not going to do that. I mean, Albert Hammond. Please, Jr. please don't. No, 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 no. You've heard it once or twice, I'm sure. Yeah. You, you see, you see it that often? Uh, yeah. 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 Where do you live in that? You live in uh, L.A. He lives in L.A. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Where do you live? You live yeah, there's nothing worse, man. There's one word answers. Right. You know, when you're trying to, you know, I have no idea who the guy is. Right. And you see your dad often? Yeah. Any stories there? Nah. Not really. Oh, you live in New York? Manhattan? Well, that's not bad. Where in Manhattan do you live? I mean, I'm not the ad. I live in the East Village. You do live in the East Village. All right. Uh, you where, do you, where do you live? I'm from Staten Island. Hmm. Nice. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. it's an attitude. Right. Though. Nice is, oh, so what, yeah. your, your dad's a cop or something? Your dad's one of those scumbag, uh, low-level, like, cops or firemen. Right. Oh, oh, blue collar? Oh. Yeah. One of those guys that went into the uh, building on 9-11. Yeah, the response says, oh, my dad uh, was a recording artist. Yeah, one of those lunatics. Oh, I went to boarding school in Switzerland. Oh, Staten Island? Oh. He's a nice. Yeah. yeah, nice. You know what the guy is? The guy is an elitist pig. And, um, you know, he, he just, uh, you'll hear in a moment, he says what he's there to promote. You know, he's going to dictate the terms of this right. interview. He got his. Yeah, Brian is a, a huge fan of the uh, the Strokes and uh, just loves the band. When when did you first start listening to the band, dude? Well, I mean, obviously, uh, <laughs> well, Jerry and I have been into the Strokes for a while. Uh, Jerry is uh, downloading all of the... Uh, He's trying to get it for free. Well, no, he's not trying to get it for free. I mean, he he pays for the downloads. He's bought all their records. <laughs> what are they? Right, wait, let's see. Let's see if you're, he's being honest. Let's uh, hear. What are the records? Well, the first their first one was self-titled, or their first one was The Strokes. Uh, Run out of air again. This is Jerry Wachowski. Well, the first their first one was self-titled, or their first one was The Strokes. Um, and you hear that sound, the, by the way? Yeah. Uh, he's, uh, he just hates talking about The Strokes. Right, God forbid. The Strokes. Um, and the there was an English one that had another song on it that wasn't on the original one. And That's where Jerry's panicking. <laughs> can't no, come I know that. I, I remembered immediately <laughs> after. I, with any of the crap. <laughs> I remembered him immediately afterwards, but you put me on the spot there, and like I was. Right. And the second, the second one was a. Uh, uh, Why do you got to put him in this position? It's no, like, I know. Yeah, come on, dude. I'm, I'm just, bottom bottom line, who, all the time. Who cares? He lies all who, the yeah, time. Yeah, but who cares though? We're not, I'm not even. I, I play. I play. I play in the band. But I'm not. I'm not here to like you know sit and talk about how, whether he knows the titles of the records. You know. Do you know the titles of the record? I, yeah, this, this is what he says to me. This is where he turns on you, and I, yeah. my, my instinct, of course, was to defend you, Tim. Yeah, this uh, jackass turns to me and goes, you know the title? I go, dude, I don't know who you are. I don't know who the guy sitting next to you is. I've never heard of the Strokes. I don't know who, I barely know who your dad is. And I don't know anything about you because you ain't famous, mother effer. I know about Lionel Richie. Oh, sure, who was very nice. Yeah, very nice. I know about uh, Dennis Miller. I don't know about you, dude. Do you know the titles of the record? I do not. I do not. Yes, yes, I yeah. do not, man. And that's where it turned. That's when uh, we started to blast off. Do you know the titles of the record? I do not. There you go. No. There you have it, folks. There you have it, folks. He uh, knows nothing. Well, yeah, he knows nothing, right? Guy was embarrassed by his dad's work who sent him to private school in Switzerland. Hmm. How about that? Well, I know nothing. No, me. I don't know why well, you know that. All right. Now, the the uh, Albert Hammond Jr. Yours to keep. This is the uh, this is the new CD. Yeah. Right. It's a, uh, yeah. Right. You guys don't like yeah. doing this. No, you guys don't like. Well, why do you have to come here if you don't I, like doing it? I do. It seems like you don't like doing it. Here it goes, man. This is when Brian really. I'm sorry. This is when Brian really effing lays into him. You guys don't like yeah, doing this. No, you guys don't like. Well, why do you have to come here if you don't I, like doing it? I do. It seems like you don't like doing it. No, we love doing it. We've been here for hours. But why the f would you come here if you don't want to do it? I mean, if you don't want to do it, then don't do it. Well, Say what, no. What would make you seem like I don't want to do it? Well, dude, you're real low energy, and we've had a lot of people I'm here. I'm real low energy. You're not even talking about what I'm trying to promote. Oh, uh, we got the CD here. We've been here for for two days, and we've had a lot of uh, people here. And uh, so, what, uh, how's that? How's that my problem? I was just in Denver. Gotta, yeah, I woke up at eight in the morning yeah, to fly. Well, here. Don't, don't take it out on us that you were in I'm Denver. I'm not taking it out on we you. You're taking it out on me. We weren't in Denver, so we, no, you know, but you're taking it out on me. You've been here for two days. You know why I wasn't in Denver? Because I said no to F in Denver. Well, you know, at least this is more. What does that mean when you say that? It means I was not in Denver. Oh, okay. Okay. Means I said no to the prospect of waking up in Denver. Ah, okay. Be, what it means is everybody makes decisions for themselves in life. Because I said no to F in Denver. Well, you know, at least this is more exciting you, than what was happening before. So. You, well, well, then go to Denver. This is L.A. You don't want to sell your CD. You want to, you, you know, they go to F in Denver. I mean, what the hell are you talking about? Jesus dude? Christ! I mean, I mean, you know, try, try to you know bring up your dad, try to talk about New York a little bit, and you, you know, you, 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 your your energy is uh, real low, dude. It's real low. I just got to be honest. I don't know if you do a lot of radio. You do a lot of these appearances, but your energy is real effing low. Hey, you're turning on us and, you know, asking my partner the names of your songs. We're talking about your CD. We talked about it. Yeah, and Jerry is a fan. And Jerry's a big effing <laughs> fan. I mean, this is a big thing for him. And you, it's like you don't give a, give an F. <laughs> I gotta be honest with you, dude. Uh, I don't think you should be honest with me. Well, look, for Christ's sake, we had Cause... Lionel, we had Lionel Richie sitting in your seat. Yeah, he was pretty high energy. And, yeah, he was pretty high energy and pretty happy to be here. Yeah, he enjoyed. You, it. you, you could, you could. Gave us another one of those. Yeah, the exhales. 
pretty high energy and pretty happy to be here. Yeah, he enjoyed. You, you, you could, you could take a, right. you could take a cue. You got him. me. You got me. Right. Thanks right. you for coming by, Albert Hammond Sorry. Jr. There he goes, man. Yeah, and then he split. He had uh, roasted by Whitman and then uh, couldn't take the heat and said, "Eff it, split." <laughs> All right. Nice. All right. Well, you know, sometimes it doesn't work out. Nah, huh? it doesn't work out sometimes. And when uh-huh. it doesn't work out, you're just gonna say it's not working. I so d- get the f out. Go to Denver. Yeah. Don't take out on us that you got up in Denver. I know. But uh, uh, the guy's uh, 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 an a-hole. He's an a-hole to uh, to me, to Jerry, and to uh, Whitman. So uh, so whammo. Yeah. F- him. Oh, no, no, Tim. <laughs> you noticed I got I, I we, we got through the whole thing without one swear word. Yeah. Well, there's the uh, the word. All right. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, Honestly, like Conway Whitman, I walk. I went. Then uh, uh, Jack Silver, the program director, comes by. He, he went and got like a sandwich and came by, mm-hmm. and the table's on fire. The guests are pissed off. The C- pissed CDs off. CDs flying through the air. And he comes back. He's like, "What the Christ happened? I was gone for two minutes." All right. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, Honestly, like Conway Whitman, I walk. I went to get you guys know, some watermelon. I, I, I went to Jack Silver, take it, the program. I, I can't take it. I went to get you some Sprite. I mean, I bring up his dad. He's like pissed. I brought up his dad. You know, f him. No, he had he sat down and he was like low energy. He's like, you know, you guys don't even know who we are, and we're like, yeah, no, we don't know. He's who like, we are. I didn't come here to talk about the Strokes. I was just hey, the Strokes. Hey, hey, you, left the, the, uh, you left an F word in there, huh, dude? What's wrong with you, dude? What are you talking about? There's a full F word in there. I edited those. I, I... No, listen to it. Listen to it. The Strokes. The Strokes. I don't know what the Strokes. <laughs> oh, yeah. That wasn't the whole word, but I... <laughs> okay. pretty close, huh? Wow, I, I, that's the reason I didn't edit it because I didn't. Think, all right, Christ. I'll edit that one for now. Oh yeah, please edit the uh, f's out of there. I, I can't afford another lecture. Seriously, he's about to give Brian a stroke. Yeah. By the way, if I was in the Strokes and it, and he, some guys are interviewing me talking about the Strokes, I'd be happy. Yeah, you might want to chit chat about it. Right. Yeah, you got to you got to get it up for these interviews. You know, and, and if you can't, you know, if if Lionel Richie can sit here and get it up for three minutes, sure. Then Albert Hammond Jr. Right. Can get it up. Yeah. No, I I think you're right. Really. Well, who booked you on this gig? I mean, who got me? Conway? Who booked me? No, who got Conway oh. and Whitman to to come to this event? Well, you no, did. Yeah, you did. <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, I don't know who this guy is, and uh, you know, he's he's a pain in the ass. Um, all right, uh, enough of the. Don't buy the Strokes. You know, don't buy the Albert Hammond Jr. I mean, Jesus Christ! I tried to mention a CD. He looks at me like I got nine heads. Yeah. Then Holy bring, hell, well then don't bring the CD and don't come here. I said, if you don't want to do it, don't do it. Yeah. If you don't like doing radio, then don't do radio. Oh, I got up in Denver at 8 o'clock in the morning. I didn't give it a F's if you got up in Denver. You chose to be in Denver. I didn't I didn't drag you to Denver. I didn't put a leash around your neck and drag you to Denver. <laughs> Stay the F out of Denver if it's going to ruin your effing day. This is two days without pizza. <laughs> Holy <going>? Jesus. <laughs> I'm sorry, Tim, but God damn it. <laughs> Are you on a diet? <laughs> <laughs> Things have gone terribly, terribly, yeah, they really terribly have. wrong. Uh, I'm, I mean, I, I, I'll tell you when it turned. When I said to the guy, I "Go, you don't want to f and be here, do you?" And he's like, "Well, I, I you know, I don't, I don't know." All right, uh, screw that, dude. Good, uh, good job, Whitman. Way to, way to hammer him.